All right, hey Aquarius, so I am doing you guys a read and this is pulling energy on the person that's on your mind. So um, you're gonna know this is your read by how I uh, explain the past and what caused the split between you guys. So if you don't resonate with that, please check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I do hope you guys will subscribe. Um, and um, if the video resonates, I would ask, uh, please like it so that other people who are going in, going through and experiencing the same thing you are have the opportunity to see the messages that are coming through. So we're just going to pull the past for Aquarius and the person that's on their mind. For Aquarius. Um, what's going on here? So we have the Eight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Four of Swords. So um, here's what I'm going to say. I feel like you guys have maybe quite possibly been in disconnection for some time. Um, you could be connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Uh, specifically, the King of Cups would represent um, Cancer. Um, so here's what I feel. I feel that um, either you or this person walked away from the connection with the Eight of Cups, right? So what's telling me that you guys have been in disconnection um, for some time is the Four of Swords because that is a period of pause. That's a breaking period. That's, um, you know, taking a break from the connection from each other. Um, you know, so I, I, I kind of feel like this is something that's been ongoing for some time. Um, this person could just be heavily, heavily resonating on your mind. Um, but I do feel with the King of Cups coming through that mutual energy would suggest that you guys have held a lot of love for each other. Um, you know, the King of Cups is a very loving energy. Um, and I feel like you guys, um, mutually, I do feel like you guys hold that energy, um, the same. All right, so what caused the split? So that you guys have been in separation for some time. What caused the split? Okay. So here is what I feel. Um, Aquarius. We have the High Priestess card coming through with the Ace of Wands and the queen of wands um so potentially i feel that somebody kind of uh, uh went into some territory that uh, was supposed to be like a uh, unattainable um territory with the high priestess card coming through uh, and because you're an air sign i do almost feel like we have uh, an outside energy coming through and kind of infiltrating the relationship um, with the high priestess card coming through i do feel like that's the secretive behavior um, withholding maybe even lying um, the high priestess card to me um, is, is a very divine energy this is somebody who is um it's an unattainable energy, but it's supposed to be in a good way. But I feel because of, of um, this being a, a separation read, um, there is some negative energy being brought to the connection with the high priestess. And I feel like that's a depiction of a secretive behavior. We have the ace of wands and the queen of wands. So I, I almost kind of feel like um, somebody left the situation and it, it was like, a, I do feel like there is sexual um, um, components, all right, to why uh, this was a disconnected uh, relationship, why the relationship disconnected. I do feel like it's sexual in nature, um, queen of wands and the ace of wands. Um, to me, um, we have this leaving, we have this break, we have this energy that's like, I'm done. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Um, so I just did a read for uh, Libra. And I do feel like, um, was it Libra or Gemini? No, it was Libra. Uh, it, in Libra's read, I, I do feel like the same thing happened. However, I didn't get the sexual energy off that read like I'm getting through this one. So um, if you guys are, are feeling like this might resonate, but you're not sure of the um, the physical, um, maybe check out Libra. Just, you know, um, it doesn't have to be your specific placements if you're drawn to the video. But uh, yeah, maybe you're dealing with the Libra. What is this person's energy? We have the death card. Oh, so this person is, uh, I don't feel like they're vibing very high right now. Um, this person's energy. So with their energy, 
Um, here's what I'm going to say. I feel like this person is the one that uh, kind of effed up. Okay. Um, we have the Knight of Wands energy coming through. And um, there's, there's a lot of ways to explore this card. And I do feel like in this situation, the Knight of Wands is going to be... Um, con con Con, what is it consistent with the ace of wands and the queen of wands energy so player vibe uh somebody who's dipping in and out um somebody who is not being very very trustworthy right um somebody who's playing around playing games so um we have the ten of swords coming through as painful endings so this, this person is actually um even though they they're the ones i feel that messed up and if you're a cross watcher, I apologize. You can switch that if it needs to be switched. But I do feel like um, they're seeing the error of their ways. And uh, right now they're going through um, pain. Um, so even if you guys have been uh, in separation for some time, this person is still burdened and pained by that connection, by what they've done. We have death card coming through, which represents the... Um, the, the the termination you know i feel like it, it represents the termination of the connection um i'm not going to say transformation because i don't feel like you guys are there yet but this person um they're they're thinking that this is over i feel like they're they're really um if i hadn't done this then there wouldn't be that you know so what is this person's uh situation they're they're like uh, hanging on a prayer they're hanging on a prayer right now yeah they are definitely hanging on a prayer their situation uh, so here's what i feel even though i i do feel like you guys have a deep connection i do feel like this is uh, a, a very very um it's an a, a serious relationship um this person their situation they're not going to tell you this the moon card coming through tells me they're not you guys are not speaking and it's probably because Aquarius, you don't want to speak to them right now, but it's the will of fortunes card is coming through. So they're waiting for something good to happen. They're waiting for a good spin on this situation. And I do feel like it's waiting for the spin with you. You guys could be seeing the number 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Um, there's a lot of tens in here, um, which represents the closing of a cycle. Um, but judgment card coming through tells me that this person's probably on hands and knees praying about the connection, um, about their ways, about their faults. Um, this is um, a representation of cheating. The Seven of Cups is a cheating card. This is, um, you know, praying, asking for forgiveness. And is there any way that we can reconcile the, the connection? Um, so let me just see how they feel about you. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Oh yeah, there's there, you're like wow, look at that. This person knows that they messed up big time, you know. Um, but this read right here, I'm gonna tell you guys this. It's I, I'm not here to sway you you on any any which way. Um, it's it's free will. You could just simply be drawn here to see, you know, like what is this mf or wanting right now you know what i mean because you could probably feel their energy um you know you could be ignoring messages right now um how do they feel about you we have the eight of swords so it's like uh, nah um because you hurt me i mean just look at the energy on this card the eight of swords is is, is saying i you're, you're not letting this go you're not letting this uh, situation go and i'm not going to tell you that you should uh, we all heal at our own pace. We all forgive and release and learn at our own pace. So right now, um, Aquarius, I feel like you're you're um, you're in the energy where you're like, I I'm not letting it go. Okay, um, but ultimately they do want to move forward. They want to get out of that uh, that conflict, that war, that battle stage. They want to uh, be in the um, the calm waters. Side note: I'm not trying to. Uh, move the cards around so much because somebody bitched me out the other day because I was, I, I talk with my hands. All right. So I'm learning you guys uh, not to talk with my hands so loud when I have a card in the hand. It was a funny comment. I actually just ended up um, blocking him <laughs> because I, I'm, I'm a hand talker. Um, but anyways, they do want to move forward with you. All right. Because ultimately, um, you, you are their wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups represents the wish fulfillment, but also too, this is kind of like overindulging in something that they knew that they shouldn't have. It's like playing with fire, right? And this person, I feel like they knew it. They knew it, um, but they still did it. So what happens when you put your hand in a mouse trap, an active mouse trap, right? So what does this person want to tell my Aquarius? Is there going to be any reconciliation? 
is there going to be any reconciliation what do they want to tell you all right so i i do feel like i'm i'm talking to a married uh, marriage um okay and um the, the five of swords it's a it's a marriage it's a long-term commitment this is a, a serious relationship but what they want to tell you is is there any way that we can reconcile um are we going to be able to move past what happened are we going to be are we going to be able to reconcile this or is it going to lead to a divorce are we going to lead to disconnection are we ending the relationship i don't want to um, because you are my wish fulfillment the ten of cups i do i don't want to leave you don't want to leave our animals our kids our house or you know however uh you guys had a uh, cohabitated together this person doesn't want to give it up but they are they're fearing that um i i feel like you're keeping this person in the dark and they just want to know what's going to happen um at this point they they want to know what's 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 to come but they ultimately want the reconciliation they want their wish fulfillment they want you to forgive them um they're feeling the karma they're feeling the wrath of what they've done they want to balance the situation out um but you know truly Here's, here's what I'm going to tell you as a friend, Aquarius. Um, don't If you don't feel like uh, you can move past this, if you feel like it's going to be something that you uh, will throw in their face continually because you're not over it, then don't accept them back yet because ultimately it's not going to heal anyway. You know what I mean? So let's just see if you guys are going to um, see. The, so what I'm doing is um, a 30-day intention. Are they going to reach out? Um, I do feel like this person's probably tested you and you might not be accepting them. So let's just see. Uh, let me just, I'm going to pull advice at this point. What is the advice? What is the advice for Aquarius? So your advice. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. I, I feel like um, if this person comes forward, the biggest thing is, is recognizing what they're bringing to the table, what they're bringing back to you. Because the Knight of Cups is typically that one that uh, comes with nothing in the cup. All right, but the Knight of Cups also represents a new beginning. So I'm not, I'm, I'm you know, if we're re restarting or reestablishing, um, you know, I'm not going to ask for your hand in marriage. Um, and I almost kind of feel like this is going to revert back to a new beginning. All right. So um, I, I feel like this is saying pretty much to move at your own pace um, with this connection. Uh, either way, whether you move away for, from it or you move towards it. All right, the victory is going to be in your hands. The win is going to be in your hands. And, um, you know, the biggest thing coming through is, it, it, you know, if you don't choose this person back, if you choose them back, um, just make sure they're embodying um, the respect, all right, and the nurture of the emperor energy, which is loving, providing um, a stable, safe, and secure environment, you know. Um, so how is this person approaching you? Is it, does it, uh, is it deceitful in that um, they're doing it just because they want to make themselves feel better? So just make sure this person's being, um, when they do come back through, just make sure they're being um, the best version of themselves for the benefit of the relationship and the family, and it's not being selfish, all right? So um, either way, uh, the, the end goal is going to be yours. You have free will. You can take them back or not, but the biggest thing is going to be how do they treat you and how are they uh, presenting themselves to you? Um, and, and it, even if it's a female empress energy, emperor energy, how are they handling themselves? Okay. So I'm going to roll some, um, zodiac signs just to see who's coming through. So we have an Aquarius, Sagittarius, another Sag, and we have Taurus energy. And let me just pull some initials. And just because the initials and the signs don't come out, you guys, it doesn't, doesn't mean the reading is not yours. Um, this right here is, is where the energy sits. All right. So we have I, J, J, N, and we have D and G coming through and D and G also came through the Libra read. So I feel I find that interesting. You guys. So some of you guys could be dealing with another air sign. All right. Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I love you guys. Good luck with this. And um, 
hopefully you guys will comment and, and, and you don't have to expose your whole story. I know that that's private, but, um, I have been starting to reach out to people on the commenting section and pulling a couple of cards. All right. Uh, for, for where I feel drawn. So keep that in mind. I love you guys.